so it's almost like I wanted to prevent a car accident from happening before it before it did. So many of our viewers called us concerned about the lights out on the major highways. Well, tonight, a plan to get it fixed. New York State Exposed started investigating this problem a year ago, and at that time, 30% of the highway lights around Monroe County were out. We had a ton of people calling us concerned that they were driving in the dark. We went to Monroe County leaders multiple times and asked them, what are you going to do to solve the problem and when are you going to do it? Tonight, New York State Exposed is getting you and your concerned neighbors some answers. Berkeley Green has the story. Now, Burke, when do the lights get back on? Scott, the plan we learned about today involves a massive overhaul of almost the entire highway lighting system. So we're talking about several years here. But in the end, the county says we'll have a much more reliable system that will keep the lights on. And that's going to help people like Jamie Pescor, who drives this part of 390 in Gates to get home. That whole stretch of highway would be dark. Jamie was just one of several people who contacted us concerned about the burned out lights. We started investigating last April, and today I spoke with Monroe County's Director of Transportation. He revealed a multi-million dollar project to repair the highway lights and replace the system. It Did you realize the problem was as severe as it was because of our stories? Um, no, I, I would say we already were on, I felt we were already on top of this. It doesn't hurt to find out more locations that are out there, but we had already initiated that and felt, and as we found, got the information, we saw that really what we need to do is we need to do a rehabilitation. Maintenance isn't just going to work. Here's where the work will be done and the cost. It starts in the northwest, 390-490, at a cost of $6.1 million. Then the northeast along 590 at $4.2 million. The north is next, Route 104 for $4.3 million. Then southeast along 490 for almost $5 million. Finally, the center of the city for half a million. The county will raise the money by selling bonds. The planning comes first. The physical work starts 2019. But can you promise our viewers tonight, county taxpayers, that you're going to try to fix as many of these lights that are out now before you do the heavy work? Oh, without a doubt. You know, things take time. Um, I'm just glad that they have made a plan of what they're going to do. It's better than not having planned at all. Now, after last winter, remember that winter? 30% of the highway lights in our community were out. That's almost 1,300 lights. Now the county says that number is down to 15%, and that's a little over 600 lights. Janet Terry Rice said that it wasn't that, like the bulbs were burning out. It was after all of that snow melted, the water got into the base of the light poles, and it was shorting the system. So again, when does the overhaul of the system start? Well, the really uh, detailed planning is going to start in 2017. The physical work starts on the west side in 2019. By the time the center part of the city is done, it's going to be 2022. Let there be light, Berkeley. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you see a problem with highway lights, you can always call us and get New York State exposed on the case. You can reach us at 627-2610, or you can call the county at 753 7700.